My name is Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training. This video is an excerpt from our comprehensive training course for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. Hi guys, I just wanted to start off with a basic overview of what cloud computing is. And what we have on our screen here is a few examples of some consumer cloud services that you're probably familiar with. So we have Gmail, we have Facebook, and we have Dropbox. Now I've got some terminology to go through here. Let's start off with cloud computing. And I took this description from Wikipedia, and I like this one because it's quite succinct. It says, cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of IT services from a third-party provider over the internet. So looking at our examples here, clearly we have third parties as a Gmail, Facebook, and Dropbox. You can access these services over the internet and you do so in an on-demand way. So you can use them as much or as little as you like, and you can do so from pretty much anywhere you have an internet connection. So these are good examples of cloud services. Now the service is the capability that's being provided by the cloud provider. So going back to these examples, this is an email service, Facebook is a social networking service, and Dropbox is a storage service. We then have the cloud prov provider and the consumer. So it's cloud provider or cloud service provider, and then the consumer. So the cloud provider is the company that offers the service, such as Facebook or Gmail. And the consumer is the individual, such as yourself, or an organization, such as your company who are consuming, who are using the services that are provided by the cloud provider. Now with cloud, you typically pay on a pay-as-you-go basis. There are exceptions to this, but this is a very common way that you're charged. So that means that you're paid for the amount of the service that you use. Now this is very similar to a utility bill. With your electricity bill, you pay for the amount of electricity you use. Now you don't pay for the infrastructure, you don't pay for the power stations or the grids or the pylons or anything like that. Now that probably comes as part of your cost, it always will be reflected in some way in what you pay. But you only pay, you don't pay a base fee, you typically just pay for the amount that you use. And that's the same with these cloud services. With Gmail, you get free email, but then if you go over a certain amount of storage you have to pay. And with Dropbox, the same thing. You have to pay for a certain amount of storage. And if you go over that, then you hit the next threshold and pay a bit more. And as you'll see with the AWS cloud, you pay in a very similar way, sometimes per gigabyte rather than for a certain fixed amount of storage. Multi-tenancy is very common in cloud. And this means that you're sharing the service with multiple customers. So obviously, if you go to these examples, Facebook has millions of customers, Gmail has millions of customers, and so does Dropbox. So your storage or your files that you put onto Dropbox are not on some kind of dedicated device that's just for you. They're put onto systems that are shared amongst many different customers. So that's multi-tenancy. The final term I just want to cover here is the as a service. So your the X here can be replaced by a letter that corresponds with the type of service that's being provided. So for instance, it could be software, and then we'd call it software as a service. It could be a backup capability to backup data, and then we'd call it backup as a service. And this is the type of service model, and it's the way that the service is delivered to you as a consumer. Later in this section, we're going to cover service models in a lot more detail, and I'm gonna go through the three main or most common service models that you'll be exposed to in the cloud world. That's it for this lesson. And in the next lesson, what I want to do is go through a few more examples of cloud services, but they're going to be the types of cloud services that enterprise organizations use.